Some Christchurch residents are scratching their heads over the council's decision to put on a massive public fireworks display during a total fire ban. It comes as the region fights a number of fires. Keisha Brownlee reports. The flames spread fast and the traffic crawled slowly. State Highway 1 through Glasnevin and North Canterbury temporarily closed and residents evacuated. The large scrub fire that broke out last night, the latest to stretch firefighting resources. That fire has been contained to around five hectares. We'll have crews there for the next uh, 24 hours, probably just keeping an eye on it. Across town, crews are still at a fire in Kiwi that has now been burning for three days. A lot of forestry involved there, so we've had to have heavy machinery working in there. We've had a helicopter on standby, uh, four diggers working there today and about 80 firefighters. The blaze began on Sunday night and as residents fled their homes, the city was lit up by Christchurch City Council's annual public fireworks display, just days after a total fire ban came into effect. Well, it's double standard, really. What can they do when we can't? Well, it sounds like a bit of an unusual thing to do given there seems to be quite a few fires at the moment. In a statement, Christchurch City Council said fire and emergency had approved Sparks in the Park and they'd worked with them to ensure it was a safe event. So what's the difference to fireworks in the backyard? That's always the 2020 question with the public and we completely understand that. But our message is to attend safe, uh, well-managed where the risk is reduced uh, public displays. These dry conditions aren't expected to ease any time soon. Keisha Brownlee, News Hub.